Hey guys, Tech Dimension with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to permanently delete your Apple ID and iCloud account. Now, in this process, it's going to delete your Apple account and iCloud account from Apple server. And after the deletion is done, it's permanent. You won't have access to that data and it will be gone from Apple server. So let's get started. So first thing is before you actually think about deleting and make sure that you know that you, what you're doing, because after you delete your Apple ID or iCloud account, you'll no longer have access to Apple services on the iPhone, like being able to download apps or even storing things on your iCloud. So make sure that you back up everything like photos, videos, things like that onto another device. Like if you have, if you moved away from iPhone, or if you're saving it somewhere on your computer, something like that. It's really important to do. Now, once you do that, you also want to review your subscription for certain apps. If you go into uh, your settings and your account here, you'll see there's subscriptions here. You want to make sure those accounts or subscriptions that you have enabled, make sure that the next time you have to renew it, you have a way to also kind of manage that. So you want to make sure that's important because after you do that, those subscriptions might go away. Also, you want to, and after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is sign out of every device and everything that you ever signed in your Apple ID with. So like things like, for example, from this setting, it shows us that we have all of these iPhone and iPad that we're signed into. And you want to go to individual to one of them, all of them individually, and make sure that you go to settings and the Apple ID and then hit that sign out option. And once you hit that sign out, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and password. And it's important that you do that because after you delete your Apple account, you will won't be able to have access and you won't be able to turn off your Apple ID which will make the phone or the iPad or the Apple device useless in that fact. So it's important that you do sign out of your all the devices that you have your Apple ID signed out. And once you have done all of this step and you moved all of your data somewhere else, your things like your photos, videos, contacts and important stuff like documents, all of that from your iPhone or uh, Apple devices that you have. Now it's time to go through with the actual deletion, which happens by simply going into a browser like Safari here, and you're going to nav navigate to Apple's website, which is privacy.apple.com. So once you go there, it's going to ask you to sign in. So you're going to go ahead and sign in. Here in our case, we're signing in with our passcode, but it might ask you to sign with your password and do a verification. Once you do that, as you can see, it says manage your data. Now, there's a couple things you can do when it comes to managing your data. Now, you can, good things I would do is recommend that if you want to get a copy of your data, you can request a copy and then they'll give you the copy or you can transfer it to certain services. These are things to do uh, when it comes to before doing the deletion. And then as you can see here, the other option you have, if you don't want to delete it permanently, you can temporarily deactivate, or deactivate your account. In the deactivation of temporarily, you can actually request uh, the account be re-enabled again or reactivated, which is better than if you do a permanent deletion, which is a permanent deletion is irreversible, meaning you won't be able to get back your data that's on Apple's web site so if you didn't back it up you'll lose all of that so but if you are for sure that you know you want to delete your account it's time to go ahead and request the deletion which is this option here where it says delete your account basically and if you do that you click on this option here it's going to load like that and once you do that it's going to go ahead to the next step which is going to ask you for reason or might ask you to verify your account but all the things we mentioned about this, that you won't be able to have access to Apple's services, things like photos, videos, documents stored in your iCloud will be permanently deleted. That's why you want to make sure that you found a way to save it or store it some other place that doesn't require Apple ID. Things like iMessage, FaceTime, again, you won't receive all of that. And then a bunch of all these other stuff, like you, we won't be able to have access to that. iCloud account, things like iPhone upgrade program, you must continue making payments. And then deletion doesn't cancel any repair or Apple orders. So keep that in mind. And then here it just says before you delete the things we mentioned around making a data copy somewhere else, signing out of all of your devices and web browser, and then reviewing any active subscription. And once you are sure, finally read this that uh, account deletion is a permanent thing and it's uh, not really reversible. So we're going to select a reason here. doesn't matter whatever the reason is. 
So once you select a region, you hit continue, it might ask you to just do one more verification with your personal data and then it will start the deletion process which will start to happen within the next, I believe, like sometime between a few hours to a few days and once it's deleted, your data is completely gone from Apple server and that's how you do a deletion of Apple account, Apple ID. So hopefully this quick little video was helpful. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.